Let's give them a round of applause for our first team. So you all can come up as we're still standing. Keep clapping. Our first team is coming up. him also bold and proud there he raises his toy out loud it's for protection he says gotta let them know they can't get me oh look at here i can't find it anywhere to establish my defense against fear i don't know why i'm here i didn't choose to be here but life is short gotta make it the best i can all of it reliant on just one man he with the power to end the world so am i with his world we can't be divided we, we need, need to, to be, be united, united. We are from Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences in the neighborhood of Mount Greenwood. We decided to take on the challenge presented by Chico Tillman. Imagine a city where the youth have the power to change their ideas between each other, where they have the power to incite peace within the city of Chicago, because that's exactly what we're here to bring them to. Chicago has the infamous title of murder capital of the world. Uh, and whose own very own death toll in 2016 is 762, according to CNN and police reports. Mr. Tillman enlightened us the fact that youths between the ages 14 to 25 are the ones that are driven with violence. So we created an organization called SCIEN, which stands for Chicago Youth Empowering Neighborhoods. SCIEN's vision is to educate the youth about violence through lesson plans that will show the, that will, that will show the immense amount of violence and that will help engage students to open discussions that will lead to compromises between parties and establishing a mutual level of respect and acceptance. Students involved in this organization will open the minds in their communities and uh, promote, um, pr uh, promote health within their uh, neighborhoods. And uh, assigned membership today accounts for 69 members throughout uh, homeschool Chicago Ag and uh, Morgan Park and it still continues to grow. Chicago is broken, ladies and gentlemen. It is up to us to create a change. Enough is enough. Fifty-two people were shot. The losses are staggering. In war in the streets of Chicago. Of the the violence is a It is not beyond our ability to solve. Science to me means saving and changing a person's destiny or life's course. A voice in the youth that matters. Science means to me inspiring others to make a change. There is a house built out of stone. Science means to me, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sign means to me securing Chicago's future. Tables and chairs worn by all of the dust. This is a place. There's been so many people who have tried to solve the violence in Chicago so far, none of them have ever succeeded. Okay, uh, sign means to me changing how people think of Chicago and starting a revolution. This isn't just my Chicago. This is our, our Chicago. Chicago. And we need to do something to fix the problem of violence that we have in this city. We need the youth to be together with us because we can't do this divided. We need to be able to do it united. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Those were only 
one of the few events that we hosted that highlighted our journey through resolving violence. One of our major events was hosting a fundraiser, which was hosted by local establishments, and we made a profit of $230, and the funds then went towards uh, Inspiration Corporation. But in conjunction to this great achievement, we also took to the hallways of our school, and purely by word of mouth, we were able to incite passion and commitment from 22 other people who immediately joined the cause. Okay, so now we have three minutes for question and answers, which starts now. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Inspiration Corporation and how you chose that organization to support? So Inspiration Corporation is a foundation that hopes to improve self-sufficiency amongst uh, economically deprived communities. Um, they host workshops for job training as well as uh, financial status. And they also provide some housing features for them as well as social services if they're in need of it. Um, what, types of, uh, what types of education or, or topics did you cover in the lesson plans? So within the lesson plans, we covered the misconceptions of violence because a lot of people don't understand like what neighborhoods are even have like the most statistically um, rated like the most violence. So we uh, gave out a lesson plan to students within our school and we said, hey, like which, which one do you guys think is the most violent community? And a lot of people said Inglewood, but honestly, it's actually Austin. And people were like, where? What is Austin anyways? So people don't even know where the communities are. So in able to educate people and like, we need to stop this violence, we have to educate them where it's coming from and how it's like, what's the main source for it. And so we found it was economic deprivation and we educated them in, on that as well. How do you plan to spread this movement to other high schools? Okay, so originally we, we partnered up with um, people from Morgan Park, and those are eight members. Because we partnered with Morgan Park because they're our neighbor school. So we want to, like, so when we have people from Morgan Park, we want them to go to Julian so we can, so we can know each other. And so we can just get to know each other so we can talk about the problems in each community so we can help solve it um, school by school. So we got to take baby steps. So Cyan also hopes to create a systemic process. Um, we went to the uh, sort of like an analogy that if you go to your neighbor and ask for sugar, they're more likely to help you in that. Whereas if you go across the street, down the block, to the right, to the right house, they're not going to know you necessarily. So what we want to do is create the process where we then more uh, partnership with Morgan Park, which would then lead into another neighboring school in relation to Morgan Park and create a process that spreads the lessons and workshops that we plan to do. Economic deprivation is your root cause and inspiration is your partner org and Cyan is the chart. Put these dots together a little bit tighter for me so I can see how Cyan, inspiration, and your root cause work together. Cyan is meant to connect the different schools together and integrate them into one community. Because as it is now, each of these different communities are way too separated in their culture and their thinking and they can't connect with each other, they don't know how each other feel, they aren't able to sympathize with each other in this handling of the problem. But what Cyan does is that we go to each different schools and we connect each other so that we are able to learn what violence is really the source of and we are able to fix it that way. All right, time's up. Great job. <laughs>